Is 90 minutes too short for a movie? With movies, it's always been a question. How long is too long? How short is too short? For me, 90 minutes, ah, I love it. 90 minutes, lean, mean, if it's well paced and you can tell that the movie was supposed to be from the ground up, from the script up, 90 minutes, you can't go wrong for me. Now, don't get me wrong, I do love a long movie. I grew up on the Lord of the Rings extended cut, baby, and I like me some Zack Snyder's Justice League, and my mom made me watch Gone with the Wind quite a bit when I was younger. But when you need a 90-minute movie, you need a 90-minute movie. It's hard to even gauge with the audience once. A movie's gonna come out two and a half hours to three hours long. No! Another movie's 90 minutes long. Not good enough, damn it! Not good enough! Seems like the movies just can't win. <laughs> what got me thinking about this was the other night I rewatched a little Liam Neeson movie by the name of Taken. I hadn't seen Taken since 2008, since it was in theaters, but rewatching it the other night, I was reminded how good a tight, well paced, well scripted thriller is. We don't get those much anymore. Things are bloated. Even Marvel movies are expected to be almost two and a half hours. I miss these kind of movies. Rewatching Taken again, it just showed me how much you can do with a good script. And when the stakes are high, understandable, reasonable, and you are just so behind your main character, you can do so much in an hour and a half and you don't need any more than that. Just look at the horror movies, look at The Strangers, look at Quiet Place 1, Quiet Place 2, all an hour and a half. They get in, they get out, they're so well paced and you are hooked for 90 minutes and you understand the characters and you can fit in character work along the way. You don't need bloat. And with action movies too, Raid Redemption, Dread, those are clean, you get the characters and you get amazing action for 90 minutes and I don't need any more than that. In regards to Let There Be Carnage, it's even easier for you to do that because we've gotten all the groundwork for the character of Venom and Eddie Brock in the first movie. And hey, they practically introduced Cletus Cassidy in the last little stinger at the end of the first one. So boom, let's go. Give me a fun movie with all the Venom Carnage action you can. And not gonna lie, my little fanboy heart, I mean, this is the first time we're seeing Carnage live action on the big screen. Yeah, that, you got me. You got me. Shut up and take my money. All in all, I'm looking forward to Let There Be Carnage. I think there's a weird stigma behind 90 minute movies. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Please leave a like, dislike. Thank you for sticking around and take care.